So tell me, what made you leave Malta and migrate to Australia? Oh, Malta was very happy too, but I future of the I live more than and coming to Australia because I was working with the Morta and my wife I leave her by herself and she fed up and she told me I have my brothers in Australia, it's better we go the whole family to Australia. It was hard for me because I didn't come young here, I come here when I am 40. It was, you want to go back. I said, no, it's some here. If you want to go back, go on your own. When you come a little bit with the age, you find it hard in here because you use two things to do in Malta and you can't find it in here. But it was good for the family. Yeah, but. Uh, I always liked the soccer and the first time. That time, all right, we got the soccer here because we always follow Melita, but we haven't got the first time. Once I went to Melbourne because in Melbourne they saw the first time first, and when I come here, I said, we are bigger than Melbourne. Why do we didn't make at least a ball in Sydney to meet the Hamroon and that people, they come to join us. I went to see one bloke here and he told me, why you want to make the first time in here? I tell him, because I went to Melbourne and we really enjoy it. We meet the people in Melbourne, we meet a lot of people from Hamrum, and we was very happy. In the meantime, I went to Lino Vella, who was the editor of the Mortis Herald, and there is one block work with Lino that time, George. He was from Gozo, but he lived in Hamrum, and said, I mean, no worry, we do it the first time, the ball. And I have a shop in Ruti Hill for the clothes, I do make like a small committee, about yes. six or seven people, and we organize the ball for San Gaetano for the first time. And when I will see the people they want us, we make him a promise that next year we're gonna have the statue of San Gaetano. Yes. And we start working all the whole year, making some dinner dances and we make the money and we get the statue from Gozo. The statue was made by Camilleri. Everybody know him in Melbourne. And we started growing up. Did you have family here in Australia? That time can live here, but it's on the We had meat, we skinny, young we. The only family I have in Australia, they are cousins in Melbourne. But I haven't got no one in Sydney. I'm from Nadisa, I'm from Flimkin, I'm from Flimkin, Malahua. They are together. But they are so close. What was your first week in Australia like? Oh, I was like a queen because I find everything ready. With my brothers, I remember if I, I had five kids, five kids killed on Missoda for your do. Can't happy. I don't know Australia. Do you like going back to Malta? I remember two years ago, Malta, I didn't want to come back because I loved it so much. It's my country. Yeah. I love Australia very much too. But uh, now it's him, uh, my place, because I'm not going to stay in Malta or With your family here in Australia, what do you do to keep the Maltese culture alive? My kids was really young. You're the first one. You have only 12 months, 11 months when we come into Australia. Yes. And I keep enjoying it with my friends and the family always involved. Even my wife, she make the, some lotteries and help us to do the first time. 
that's how we started growing up. Do you speak the language at home? Oh, like mixed. The aunt can move in Martin, the aunt can move in English. Especially in Zaira, the aunt. Because she can't speak in Martin, Sometimes in Kalimba Bil Malti, which is Pandini Blinglis. In Malahrain, the boys call her off Bil Malti. Call her. Yeah. We had this Sunday of Yukta Bil Malti, but you had my Yukta Bil Malti. What is the message that you would like to leave the next generation of Maltese? The message I can give to my kids, and not only to my kids, to everyone, to keep the peace and to keep the family together and thus they can be happy, they are happy, and they make the family happy. How do you want to be remembered by your grandchildren and their children? Do you consider yourself to be Maltese or Australian? I'm really Maltese. Both, hey. Both. I born Maltese, I live like a Maltese and I die like a Maltese.